this video, we will continue with integration of exponential functions. You will find this on page 518 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. In the previous video, we were looking at an indefinite um, integration. Now we're just going to look at a definite integration. Can you see between 2 and 0, between lin 2 and 0? Okay, we do exactly the same. We're first going to integrate. Okay, so it's negative 1 over 3 because that's negative 3. Okay, and then it's between 2 and 0. And then we substitute the 2 and then we substitute the 0. Now, just take note, I just swap the places. Anything to the power of 0 is 1, so that's the third. And then this one, there's the negative. I, I just bring it down and I just leave it like that. That is more simplified than working it out to three significant figures. Okay. If I look at this one, okay, I do exactly the same. I first go into integrate, then it's lin, then I substitute the lin. Okay, and then um, don't forget that 2, it goes up, that rule, so it's 2 to the power 2, which will then be 4. Okay, and this is going to be 0. And now, don't forget, in this base, can you still remember, it's going to be E, does it lin, E, 4, and that is the rule coming from chapter 7. Then it will just be 4, did you see there? Um, I, I just want to check if you can check, um, see it on the calculator. So let's just say shift E, let's make a bracket, and then say lin4. Lin4, close the bracket, equal. E excellent. You can press it on the calculator also. Press E, and then uh, well, it's actually that shift, and then going to the lin, the top, okay, E, and then just press lin4, and then you will get 4. Okay, and then we simplify, that's 1, and we get 15 over 2. Okay. Let's look at the examples. I want you to stop the video. I want you to do number A, C, uh, number 1C. That's going to be the first one. And then I also want you to do number 4. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number 1C. Okay, there's the integration. 2 and 0, e to the power of x, minus e to the power of 3x, squared dx. Okay, this is very, very important. I gave you this one. Remember, you cannot square in. There's two terms inside. You can also not do it unless you multiply out this bracket. So, we're basically going to keep that and we're going to multiply it out. Now, can you still remember how we multiply it out? I think in this case, I can do the short, but I, I think it's better if I'm going to do the long. Okay, so let's just do it here on the side, the two brackets. E x minus E 3 x. E, okay, let's just go back. E x minus E x. Okay, let's multiply. So if I multiply, I keep the base and I add x plus x is 2x. Okay, if I multiply, I keep the base and it's a negative e and 3x plus x, that's going to be 4x. If I multiply, I keep the base, 3x plus um, x is 4x. And a negative times a negative is positive e and then it's going to be 3x plus 3x, and that's 6x. And then that's going to be e to the power 2x. Do you see that this is so? It's negative 2e4x plus e6x. So really make sure that you first get this correct. Okay, so I'm, I, I didn't integrate yet. I just multiplied out. And then it's going to be, okay, now I can start. Okay, we write this bracket. And then this is 1 over 2 e to the power 2x uh, minus 2. And this is going to be 1 over 4 e to the power 4x plus uh, 1 over 6 
e to the power 6x, okay? And then, okay, let's just quickly see, and then I'm just going to write 2 and 0. Okay. So basically, if I'm going to uh, simplify this, this is now going to be my answer. So let's just simplify it a little bit further before we substitute. I think this one is all right. Maybe this one, it can be negative a half e to the power 4x plus 1 over 6 e to the power 6x. And it's 2 and 0. Okay, we substitute. So it's a half e and then it's 2 and it's 2 minus a half e 4 and it's 2 plus 1 over 6 e 6 and it's 2 and, and please don't always think it's minus 0 especially with e if you substitute um, it's going to be a half e to 0 minus a half e 4 0 plus 1 over 6 e 6 0 okay now if i simplify this let's just do this this is going to be a half e to the power of 4 minus a half e to the power of 8 okay um, plus 1 over 6 e to the power of 12 okay and this, if, if I simplify this, it's going to be minus, okay? So this is going to be a half e to the power of 0 minus a half e to the power of 0 plus 1 over 6 e to the power of 0. So basically, okay, so this two will cancel out. Do you see? This is 1. So it's basically just going to be um, a half e to the power of 4 minus a half e to the power of 8 plus a whole, uh, 1 over 6 e to the power of 12 minus that 1 over 6. And that is going to be my answer. Okay, I can press it on a calculator if they say correct to three significant figures. Otherwise, I can just leave it like that. Okay, that was number 1c. So please, especially that multiplying out, make sure you're doing it correct. Okay, now we go for number four. Okay. Okay, let's do number four. Find, okay, and now I'm just going to again, so it's A, don't forget, A and zero. And then it's going to be e to the power negative x, and make it a bit bigger if you can see, plus 6 e to the power negative 3x. And don't forget it's dx. So find where a is a positive constant. Okay, again I'm going to start by the free. Okay, so it's going to be negative. Ne okay. It's it's like that, okay, but you could have just said negative 1. But e to the power negative x, okay, I'm first just putting brackets, so negative a third, e to the power negative 3x, okay, and it's going to be dx. No, 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 I already integrate, sorry. So I can just go and say a and 0. Okay, so this is, I'm, I'm just I'm making it a little bit more simple. So, e to the power negative x, this is going to be, oh, it's positive, but a negative, negative, and it's going to be 2 e to the power of negative 3x. Okay, and it's a and 0. Okay. So it's going to be negative e, and this is going to be a, a minus 2e negative 3a, okay, minus, okay, now I just have to simplify and put the 0 in. Don't always think it's 0, especially with e. e, so it's negative 0 
minus 2e negative 3 0 okay actually this bracket was unnecessary there already substitute okay so basically if i'm okay let's just go keep this one first negative e negative a minus 2e negative 3a okay now this is to, um, it's negative e so can i just um i want to just take an, another thing so it's negative e 0 minus 2 e 0 so it's negative 1 and negative 2 do you see because that is negative 1 and that is like that so it's like negative 3 so it's neg so it's going to be that negative 1 minus 2 keep it like that now i can just bring it down and i can say okay this is negative to make it positive 1 e a minus uh, 2 to make it positive e 3 a and this is negative 3 and multiply so plus 3 okay and that is my integrated answer now i go on deduce the value of now you always have to check do you see that this is the same as this so i can just basically use that answer now so it's almost i have the answer i can just show you number b um, it's to infinity and that's why i'm doing it for you and then it's going to be e minus this is exactly what what i uh, integrated sorry uh, e minus 3x Okay, but I got, so I, I used the answer I got. The answer I got was that, okay, it's negative because that's why they let you first do it. Okay, plus 3. And, and the answer was, this is now infinity and 0. And now I substitute. Okay, so if I substitute... Then it's going to be negative 1 over e to infinity minus 2 um, e. Okay, and it's 3 if infinity. And it's going to be plus 3. Okay, now I want you to, I want you to go back to page 338. And I'm going to write it here in the textbook, page 338. I just gave you a glimpse. Infinity is not in the syllabus, but just a glimpse to help you a little bit. And I think it was with the, with the improper integrals. Now, the same is there. You must go on that table on page 338 and just check what I said. If you have x over infinity, doesn't matter what, then it's always equal to 0. So basically, because this is infinity, you end up with with a number over infinity a number over infinity so basically you end up and you you get this every time zero um i can say minus zero minus zero plus three but my final answer will just be three and it's coming from that statement so this is just going to be one over infinity two over infinity because as soon as you multiply this you're also going to, and on that table, I just want to quickly control, um, if you multiply with infinity, three times infinity, okay. So it was, if it's two times infinity, it's infinity. If it's two times negative, it's negative infinity. But it stays the infinity if you multiply. Okay, so that basically just becomes zero and your final answer is.